So today I will walk you through how to make a flash template in Animate CC. Uh, it is a easy way to make a, a template without having any programming skills. So first I start with the clip of the lower third we're going to animate. I uh, opened it in After Effects uh, because we need to re-render it to a PNG sequence. So make sure that it is RGB plus alpha. Uh, otherwise it will not be transparent when you play it out. Uh, and for this template I'm gonna go for 720, 59, 94. Um, and saved in a folder. I already made a folder so I unchecked subfolder and then we render it out. I normally don't do flash templates anymore. Uh, mostly HTML, but it's still an easy way to create something on the fly if you need it uh, within a reasonable time. So the render is done. I don't need to save this. Uh, and let's go to Animate CC. I'm going to create a canvas with 1280 720. And first I'm going to add the um, template generator from Casper CG. I will leave a link in the description how to install it for Animate CC. Next, uh, let's change the frame rate to the correct one, 59.94. And select the first frame, import to stage, and select all the PNGs that were cre created with the After Effects render. And it will take a while to import, at least on my computer, it's not the best I'm working on right now. So now it imported all the frames on one uh, keyframe in the timeline, uh, but we want a smooth animation. So select all. So we're gonna click distribute two keyframes and now it will distribute the PNG sequence in the right order in your timeline and let's call this layer animation. We don't really have to touch this anymore if you're satisfied and the render was correct. Uh, next up let's make some text. Uh, it's a lower third so I'm gonna put my name in it. Uh, just simple. Uh, the name is more like an example and you won't see it when you play it out because that's uh, the fun part at the end for dynamic text. Uh, I think here is kind of right. It's only an example, so no need to nitpick uh, this particular template. Let's stretch it out a bit and make sure that it's set to dynamic text and uh, make a name. It can be anything except for the name name that will clash with something in the functions. Uh, I'm also gonna add a second dynamic text. It's gonna be my Twitter handle because it's 2019. Oh. Uh, and I'm gonna deselect it, press V to move it. And I don't want it this big, so I changed it in the properties. Uh, yeah, let's put it here. And I want it as a medium size of this font. And I'm also naming this, this dynamic text field uh, L3 Twitter. Uh, you will need it later to play out in Casper, of course. Next, we can select the text, uh, both of them, uh, and make it into a symbol. Now it's one object within the layer. And now we want to animate it. The only thing I'm gonna do is fade in, fade out. Uh, if you wanna do more animation stuff in Animate CC, there are loads of tutorials on YouTube. I'm gonna insert a keyframe where I want it to be fully visible. And I'm gonna make a keyframe where I want it not visible. And also a keyframe for the outro. Let's Put it somewhere around here. Um, and 
I'm also gonna put a keyframe here, it's not necessary, but uh, that's how it worked as an editor, that I can recognize where the middle is. Uh, and I'm gonna create a classic tween, that's the animation I'm gonna change. So on this keyframe, I want to set color effect alpha to zero, this keyframe the same. And of course, on this keyframe, I want to set it to 100%. Mm -hmm. And this one as well. And this one to zero again. So now I have a lower third width fading in text and fading out text. And let's delete some of the unnecessary frames also of the animation so this is the animation part and now the fun part starts let's put in some actions that Casper CG can recognize for what to do with the template so you don't have to put in a start action uh, but you have to say where it needs to pause. Uh, we're gonna insert a keyframe on the actions layer. Press F9 to go to the action menu or window and type stop. All right, and we also need to set a stop at the end. So Casper CG recognize that it's done. Otherwise it's gonna loop the template all right and then for Casper CG to recognize uh, that this part is the outro I'm gonna select a frame in the outro of the actions layer and I'm gonna name it outro this is necessary for Casper CG to make sure that Casper CG uses the right fonts, we're gonna embed the fonts within the template. So I'm gonna look, the, look up the fonts that I used, in this case Roboto Medium, and add those as embedding, but I also use bold, so I also need to add bold as a font, and press OK. And now let's save it. I already saved it, but let's save it again uh, in a folder you know. Uh, this can be the templates folder. All right, let's use the template generator to build the template. It will run a script and uh, build everything Casper CG needs. It looks like it crashes, but it only restarts animates you see really quickly. And here it says that it exported correctly and also the folder where I saved it. So next up I'm gonna test it and you can test it out straight from Animate CC. Make sure that you connect to the right one. Uh, the templates path is not important. Uh, the Casper CG server I linked to where I exported the template and now let's play it out. And as you can see, it plays out, but it doesn't show anything uh, of text because we didn't put any values in the data. So let's test it out with some values. So for L3 name, I fill in my name, L3 Twitter, I fill in my Twitter handle. And I press, I update and I press load plus play. And there you have it. This is how you make a simple template in Animate CC. If you need any lower thirds or uh, animations, I think there are enough tutorials on YouTube on how to make it. Uh, so good luck.